in a night where it was looking like a storybook ending. Everything was setting up for it to be the new sheriff in town. The successor is here. We don't need Tom anymore. Mac Jones had tied Tom Brady's record, or what he had, the most complete completions in a row Tom Brady had ever had in his career. He tied that tonight in the pouring rain, and he was leading the Patriots on a possible game-winning drive. But what does it come down to? To me, my takeaway is the Patriots, they just can't run the football. And if you can't run the football, everything else better be elite. If they could have just ran the ball in that third and three where it got deflected at the line of scrimmage, even if you just pick up one yard, looking back at it, that would have been the difference between them winning the game or not. Because that field goal, if it was just a yard closer, most likely it just sneaks within those uprights and you've got a, you've got a field goal for the win. And Mac Jones, got to give him credit. I'm not going to go overboard like I kind of felt Collinsworth was at times just because... For one, he was basically doing a lot of dinking and dunking. Some very good quick throws on some, you know, intermediate routes. But a lot of dinking and dunking against a just completely decimated secondary. So you have to give him a lot of credit for the fact that he's a rookie with not a great offensive line and a great pass rush. Trust me, a lot of credit. But at the same time, for the Patriots, if you can't run the football and give him some help in that way, it's just going to be a bad season. Their defense is great. And... They, they were very close to beating one of the top teams in the league that people look at it as. But right now for the Buccaneers, this Buccaneers team tonight, I don't know if they're one of the top teams in the league. Just because their second, their secondary is decimated and Rob Gronkowski's out for them. Honestly, for them, I think they're just happy to escape with the win. And that's what it is for the Buccaneers. Because with all those guys out, with Tom Brady coming out looking shaky, I think... He, he's not a guy that's going to let nerves get to him, but he might have been a little uncomfortable feeling booze from the team that he led to six Super Bowls. And that started to get to him early. It looked like, I think, the first play of the game was just an errant throw from him. And he was getting better and better as the game went on. It should have been basically a game-winning touchdown to Antonio Brown, just for whatever reason. Antonio Brown, on a, on a rare occasion, just dropped the touchdown catch. But for the Buccaneers, I think... It, just coming away with the win is big for them, especially in a week where you've got the Saints losing, starting to look a little like some frauds, and the Panthers losing to the Cowboys. Maybe them as well. I don't think you have too much to worry about in that division, especially after this win tonight. For the Buccaneers, there's not too much negative or positive to take away from this one. They really just did what they did. They were able to run the football against the Patriots defense, which isn't good at, run, at stopping the run, although they started to get better at stopping as the game went along. Tom Brady didn't didn't tear him up as you would hope, but it was pouring rain out there, so you're not gonna go crazy about that on about then. It's about that. It's Tom Brady. He was missing Rob Gronkowski. If you had Rob Gronkowski in one of those red zone opportunities, and if Antonio Brown caught that touchdown, it could have been a much more comfortable win for them. And as their secondary gets more healthy. Todd Bowles is defensive coordinator. I think this Buccaneers team they're gonna be near at the top of the NFC again. There's more competition for them this year, but this game it's just great for them to come away with the win. Tom Brady, I don't think it's ever going to be you know, some crazy uh, story to where it's the people look back at it like, oh, he really showed Belichick. He really showed him. He really teared his defense up. Bill Belichick did what he's supposed to do with that defense. He did a great job with a defensive game plan to slow down that Buccaneers team about as much as you would hope for. But that offensive, that offense with the Patriots, I know that's not a specialty or whatever, but as a head coach, it's really a shame. And some of the stuff that is directly the responsibility of the head coach, like, on that fourth and two, I believe it was in the third quarter. I don't know exactly when it was, but you were just outside of field goal range. In the modern NFL, I don't care what you want to say, you know, the rain or how teams are moving the ball, you go for that there. They put it away. They got a good punt, good field position they put them in. But I think in the modern NFL, you go for that. You try to get some points. And this, I know offense isn't his thing, so I guess people aren't going to judge him for that. But being a head coach of a team that had negative yards running the ball, in a night where, like I said, with the pointing rain, that's where you would really want to try and find a way to run it. That's pretty bad. And, again, he's not the offensive coordinator, but you're still the head coach. You're responsible for everything. And this offense, Mac Jones did a great job. But when you – you know, so Mac, all credit to Mac Jones. But outside of him, it was it's really just the most predictable offense that we saw tonight. It's basically dink and dunk, little short intermediate routes. The only way they're taking a shot is if it's, you know, a trick play to Jacoby Myers, and they're not going to run the football at all. If it's a better defense than the Buccaneers or the Jets where they have Zach Wilson that's just going to throw you the ball five times a game, 
it's going to be tough for Buccaneers to get, not Buccaneers, the Patriots to get wins this year. I'm, I think they're going to get better as the year goes along, but this Patriots team right now, it's not that good of a team. It's a very good defense and about the most predictable offense in the NFL, or at least one of. So offensively, they need to find a way to be able to run the ball and at least get some deep shots that aren't off of just some trick plays because eventually you think teams will get a little bit used to that. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.